Hi, my name is Jason Tatum, and one reason I came to Shamanai was because of sports, mainly basketball. You know, for all the great kids here that play basketball, like one Anthony Novella. Before Jason Tatum would lead the Boston Celtics to the 2020 Eastern Conference Finals, knocking out the reigning champs, we're talking about the Toronto Raptors. Yeah, it wasn't a great night over here. Seriously, I drank myself to sleep. My name is Jeff. Bruh. Baba Bowie. Before Jason Tatum would be drafted with the number three pick in the 2017 NBA Draft by the Boston Celtics. The Boston Celtics select Jason Tatum from Duke University. Before Jason Tatum would become an NBA All-Star in the 2020 season and be named to the NBA All-Rookie First Team for 2018. Tatum drives down and throws it down! Wow! If you're wondering what the low point was in Jason Tatum's life, well it happened pretty early on when he was still a child. Now at this time his mother, she was dealing with unpaid bills and their utilities being turned off. But their absolute worst moment was when they came home one day to discover a pink slip taped to their front door. Now it was an eviction notice and Jason, he told Bleacher Report. And my mom started crying and I didn't know what to do. I just felt helpless. I wanted to help so bad, but I was just 11 years old. Jason and his mom, they dealt with their sorrows for a few hours, but before long, well, his mom turned to her son and told him that she'd figure something out. And that's exactly what she did. Now Jason's mom, she applied for a loan modification and at the last minute, well, she managed to save their house. Now that lesson of putting in the work and overcoming your hurdles is one that Tatum has since internalized and taken with him into the NBA. For instance, last year it didn't go so well for Jason and the Celtics. Now chemistry and fit issues with their superstar Kyrie Irving, it stunted Tatum's growth. But this year, well, it's a whole different story and his upbringing has a whole lot to do with how he wound up in the 2020 Eastern Conference Finals. What's going on guys? It's your boy Michael McCrenton back at it again with a brand new video. This time taking a look at the come up story of Boston Celtics star player Jason Tatum. Here for you, of course, and before they're famous. Now we've dropped a few other NBA player videos in the past you can find in our athletes playlist. This includes recent drops on Jimmy Butler and Nikola Jovic. You can also follow us on Instagram at Before They Are Famous to vote for who we do next. All right, now let's get into this video. Jovic? Djokovic. Jokic. Jokic. God damn it! I'm not doing it again. Hey, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Boom! Jason Tatum was born on March 3rd, 1998 in St. Louis, Missouri. Now he was born to his mother, Brandy Cole, and father, Justin Tatum. His parents, they were teenagers when they had him. Now Brandy, she was only 19 years old, and while they didn't stick together to raise Jason, well, they both still played a huge part in his life. I wouldn't be who I am or where I'm at today without her love and support and help. And, uh, you know, she's my best friend. Now, Brandy was in law school when she had Jason, and he was born over spring break. And the next week, well, she went back to class. When he became a toddler, well, she'd take him with her to school. Then when Jason was only six months old, well, Brandy, she moved both herself and her son out of her mother's home. Now, she bought a tiny two-bedroom, 900-square-foot home in St. Louis. And this was in the diverse district known as University City. Now, the home had a postage stamp backyard and a chain link fence. But most importantly, it was a roof over their heads. Now, when Jason was in grade one, well, a teacher asked him what he wanted to be when he grew up, and his answer, it was an easy one. He wanted to be an NBA player. But his teacher, she laughed it off, which brought down Brandy's wrath on her son's instructor. His mother told Bleacher Report, I was livid. I went into the school the next day and talked to the teacher. I said, ma'am, with all due respect, if you ask him a question and he answers, I don't think it's appropriate to tell him that's something he can't achieve. When I'm at home, telling him anything he could dream is possible. Now, this wasn't the first time that Jason, he had considered his future. Now, when he was even younger, Jason was flipping through his mom's law textbooks and told her that he didn't ever want to read books like this. Instead, he'd rather become a basketball player. Now, her response was that he better start working hard. So he did just that, even as a kid. He'd pop his head into his mom's bedroom every morning at 5.30 a.m. and tell her that he was off to the gym for a 90-minute workout session before attending class at Chaminade Prep in St. Louis. Tatum's dad, Justin, well, he remembers exactly when he thought his son might have what it takes to make it to the NBA. Now, Jason was in fifth grade and playing in a league with grown men and still averaging almost 25 points a game. Yeah, Brandy raised Jason, but Justin has always been a part of his life. Now, he called his son every day, and Jason, he would spend time with his dad in the locker room at St. Louis University, and when Justin began playing basketball professionally halfway around the world in the Netherlands, 
Well, Brandy would take Jason overseas to watch his dad play. And by the time that Justin's playing career was over, well, he was ready to become one of Jason's coaches. My dad coached at Sodan for like six years. So that, I used to practice with him at four to five times a week. And I was like, man, you, you light skin, you know, light skin boys get differently. You gotta come on in here and you know what I'm saying? You gotta be tough. Jason was still in elementary school when he began practicing with his father four or five times a week. Now it wasn't always easy. His dad, he would never show mercy on him. Now Justin, he would get high school players to ball against his much younger son and encourage these older players to really go at him. One time in particular was halftime and Justin thought his son was playing soft. Now he grabbed a hold of Jason and he let him know what he was thinking. And by the end of it, well, Jason was bawling. Now for parting words, his dad, he told him, we better not lose this game. Jason responded by scoring 30 points that night and his team won. Now speaking with KSDK, well, Jason, he stated, that used to happen every week. I would be crying, snot coming out my nose. I would be crying the whole second half, but getting buckets. Tough love, you know, sometimes it works out. Nowadays, well, Justin admits that his form of tough love, it probably went a tad too far. But Jason, he gained a better understanding of who his father was and what his motives were in pushing him to be the best version of himself. Now, speaking about being the best of the best, well, another huge moment in a young Jason's life was the day he met Kobe Bryant. Damn. Like how my dad talked about Jordan really made me realize like Kobe, that was Kobe for me. Like Kobe was, was my Jordan. And he was my favorite player. Right. The reason, he was the reason I started playing basketball. Justin had taken his son to a game where the Lakers were playing the Cavaliers after failing to get Jason to model his game on Celtic superstar Paul Pierce. Well, Justin thought that Pierce's footwork and his ability to get a good shot off regardless of the defense would be inspiration for his son. But all Jason had eyes on was Kobe. So after the game, well, Justin, he got his son a picture with a superstar, and Jason remembers it as one of the biggest moments in his life. From then on, well, every time Jason would come home after practice, well, he would look at that picture for motivation because he knew his dreams, they were beginning to become a reality. In 2016 to 2017, Jason joined the prestigious Duke basketball program during what many experts called Coach K's best ever recruiting class. Now that year, four different Duke players were drafted into the NBA, and Jason Tatum, well, he was the highest selection. With a 6'11 wingspan and a max touch that's more than a foot and a half above the rim, Tatum has a defensive range of nearly 3,300 cubic feet. After the Boston Celtics traded their number one pick to the Philadelphia 76ers, well, they selected Jason with the third overall pick. Now, it was a move that many questioned at the time, but now absolutely no one does. And Jason's emergence as a superstar over the past season, well, it's got a lot to do with it. Now, through nine games towards the end of the season, well, Jason scored 30 plus points. And now his team has advanced all the way to the Eastern Conference Finals for the second time in his short career. Will this be the year he makes the NBA Finals and goes on to win his first chip? Well, I guess only time will tell. I mean, at the time we drop this video, well, he's currently playing right now, so we wish him the best of luck. No hard feelings about, you know, beating the Raptors. My name is Jeff. Bruh. Baba Bowie. As for the rest of the story, well, I think we're gonna wrap this one up here because this, of course, is before they're famous. But I do have an end screen I filmed previously, so Michael McCrudden, take it away. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Now, we drop a new video each and every day, so here's a recent drop that you might enjoy. We handpicked that one for you because if you like this video, you'll probably like that. We also got playlists like over here, so click on that if you wanna see a whole list of a bunch of videos we've dropped in the past. And if you're new to the fame gang, be sure to subscribe and turn on them post notifications. And I'll see you guys in another video. Boom!